Hello and welcome to Mülheim near Dusseldorf, Germany. This is the number one place to be for motorhomes, particularly this street where I am at now. And this is Achorn and this is a Canada TF Plus motorhome. I'm going to walk in and wrap it on a bit. Now, uh, it's on the Renault um, Master, it means it's 237 centimeters wide this is a used vehicle and as i always say don't buy new this is just the sort of thing you want to get in my opinion because this was used for by someone for three months five thousand k's on the clock which is quite a lot in all my opinion for three months and so then it then it, it 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 came back. I don't quite know what the reason was, if there was some misfortune in the family or something like that. But the van came back here, and occasionally there are c cases like this where a really nice vehicle comes onto the market, and, uh, and this is what I suggest people try looking for. I do appreciate that if every Let's say 1% of my viewers, well now I've got 70,000 subscribers, let's say 700 of you uh, started looking for vehicles of this, there's not going to be 700 vehicles of this nature uh, with such a good offer in, in Europe. But uh, I appreciate that. But if you can get something like this, this is just the sort of thing to go for, in my opinion. I'll show you the garage. And uh, so this is effectively it's a brand new, brand new vehicle. Now something like this, new you're looking at 48 and a half thousand euros. But that's the from price, and this has got a, uh, a number of extras which we'll see as we go through the vehicle, or some some of the things we'll see. For example, it's got a, a Goldschmidt suspension kit, and we won't be seeing that because it's uh, in a place which is difficult to film on. But that adds significant amount to the uh, the price I'll show you under here as well so this here will pull that put you can pull this out and that will make uh, an extra the bed extra extra big should you so want I've also filmed in time here the version of this on 2016 or something similar, 2017 as well, so you can see how it's progressed. And if you're looking for something used, actually, because I've been doing this for such a long time, uh, there's, there's plenty of stuff that was new when I filmed this, but it shows, it may sh show the actual the evolution of the vehicle. Uh, now, what I find here, which is particularly attractive, which is in the newer uh, uh, versions, is the, the way this kitchen is actually laid out. So, we've got central locking there, very wide drawer. Uh, the, one, the bottom is not so big, but it is, it is, uh, it is deep, not so, not so deep. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean. And, um, okay, it's, this is absolutely standard in all their vehicles, but there is all this space here to to play with uh somebody on one of the comments made a comment about taps like this didn't like them and i think taps like this actually this uh, this is what i've got in my vehicle and i'd rather have that but somebody said that they break easily well mine hasn't broken yet and i've been using it every day for the past uh seven years uh, oh i didn't bring the didn't bring the key for the to show you the bed coming down, but the bed will come down as well. And you've got this enormous table here, absolutely brilliant. It's also I've uh, got a television with uh, which is up there, so that's that's also an extra uh, which which comes with the with the vehicle. But this is really a very very clean. Uh, I mean cleaning sort of the motor, uh, the, the car salesman talk. It's a very nice uh, vehicle, I can't tell it's been used really. 
the place where usually is the giveaway is in you, you can never get the kitchen to look absolutely new no matter what you do I think anyway it's also got a net up there to stop you falling out of bed on both sides if I remember correctly it's 747 centimeters in length slightly larger fridge in two parts Well, look around the outside. You've got the um, you've got the, the kickoff price. You haven't that, you haven't got any uh, other uh, price details on this one. Oh, there's another extra there. It's a Tula one as well. A Tula, I don't know how to pronounce it. Right? I'd say Tula. <laughs> as though it were German. Now this vehicle has been sold, so you can't, I mean, it would, it would be sold anyway by the time I get round to uploading things. But this one has been sold by the time I'm doing the filming. So I don't know what the price was, but I could, I could make a guess from my experience, but I don't really want to in those circumstances. Uh, but you know what the list price is, which it starts off at, which is the important price to know. Uh, I've got one or two other vehicles here as well. This one's in uh, slight, uh, this, is, this vehicle's from 2018 and uh, that one it's got I think it's 30,000 on the clock, 30,000 kilometers and for that it's about 49,000 euros. So you see that's even more than the list price. That's because of the extras it comes with. For example once more you can see that there is an antenna on the roof and show you some of the vehicles here and at the bottom of down there we've got this really luxurious uh, white one with a I feel Slovenia sign on it that's not an Ahorn model though and we've got uh, these uh, camper vans I'm gonna start calling these car campers on the Renault traffic and uh, the, the, the VW camper sort of style sort of thing that's I think I'll, that's a good word that car camper and uh, these these ones are relatively new um, the 2020 version 2021 version for example and uh, so now it's the 2022 version <laughs> They're probably used as demonstration models Okay, great. So that gives a uh, little bit about uh, uh, this vehicle and um, always I uh, turn people write every single day There's at least a comment. What van should I buy? You know people write to me personally saying what van should I buy and the answer is you don't you rent it you rent Or you borrow and then you rent again and then you rent again and then you decide that way because there are people who can end up buying something and then find out they don't like it. Happened to a friend of mine. Well, he liked it, but his wife didn't. So that's why I give you this advice. So thanks very much for watching and all the best from Germany.